Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will break down for you how to earn money by testing products and completing surveys with the Me Things application. How does it work? Are there any specific requirements to meet? And most importantly, how much can you earn with this? Well, we're going to find out just in a moment, so with that being said, drop a like and let us dive into this. Alright guys, so to not waste any of your time, let us get straight to the point. So, in the first step, I would like you to head over to the homepage of the MeThings application, an app that gathers insights about consumer behavior for companies and brands, but more about that in detail just in a second, and to scroll down to the very bottom of their homepage till you see this section here named thinkers because that's where you will be given the opportunity to earn money your insight is valuable there you go so let me explain really really quickly what this is all about and how you can profit from the me things app you can download it completely free of charge either from google play or from the app store install it launch it and sign up to earn money as a so-called survey taker or product tester as such you will be invited by companies and brands to various market research studies consumer surveys and remote tests to share your honest opinion about a specific product, product type or consumer brand, maybe even a product you know or have already used yourself as a consumer or end user, and for every test you complete, every survey you finish and every feedback you provide, you will get compensated with a specific amount of money. It is actually no rocket science guys, I'm sure you have already participated in paid surveys online or have tested a bunch of products and services for clients like websites, apps, or software yourself. So I guess you know the drill. Paid surveys and product testing are amongst the most popular earning methods in the Make Money Online community because they require literally zero skills or prior job experience to earn money with. They can be done conveniently from home or while on the go. You get asked a couple of multiple choice questions, boring questions in most cases. You answer to them and get credited your compensation upon finishing the questionnaire. Super simple actually. So now that you know how earning money through the MeThings application works, let us go a bit more in depth and find out how much you can realistically make and if there really are no special requirements to meet. So your task as a member of their community would be to share your honest opinion about products and services you encounter in your everyday life. These can be physical products like kitchen appliances, tools, electronics, outdoor equipment, anything but also digital products like apps, websites or software. In some cases it will suffice to fill out a short questionnaire. In some though you will get asked to communicate your thoughts about a product, for example in a report or during a face-to-face -face interview. And then we have remote user tests. These will require from you to test a product like a brand new app or website before it gets released on the market and to see how it works, how it performs and if it has any flaws, bugs or technical issues and report any you find. Test brand new apps and websites before they're released. There you have it. How much can you expect to earn per completed usability test or consumer brand survey? Well, that depends on a variety of factors, including your client's budget, but also the type, length and complexity of your task. Some tasks, for example, multi-day studies, will reward you with payments of $50 or more for testing a specific brand product for a couple of days. You will be given clear instructions, a deadline and an invitation you can either accept or decline. Some tasks, surveys in most cases, will reward you with rather smaller amounts of money, like a couple of cents up to one or two dollars at most. Are there any specific requirements, like job requirements for instance? Well, as said earlier, you absolutely don't have to have any prior job experience or advanced skills in anything. However, take into account that the job availability may vary depending on your location or demographic profile. Also, for some studies and usability tests, it will be required from you to be in possession of a specific product, for example of an Android phone, if your potential client is looking for Android users exclusively to conduct usability tests for them, which should be pretty self-explanatory. Is this app legit and can they be trusted? Well, according to their homepage, they are located in the Silicon Valley and have customers among some of the world's biggest and most influential brands like Verizon, LG or Nexon. Plus, they have received so far a pretty positive feedback by survey takers and usability testers namely 4 out of 5 possible stars on Google Play and in the App Store. So 
I'd say these guys seem to have a pretty good reputation and I don't see any reason why one should consider them untrustworthy. Their website looks professionally made, they don't make any unrealistic claims and all in all they appear to be professionals who run a serious business. Moving on to the next question, who can join them and use the Meet Things app to earn money? Is this available worldwide? Because you know how it sometimes works with these survey sites and testing platforms, guys. You are hyped to sign up because the given app or platform offers pretty good conditions and payment rates. And while trying to create your account, they tell you they're sorry, but unfortunately, they are currently looking for users only from specific regions or countries in the world. I myself have experienced situations like this more than once. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Luckily though, the MeThings application is available everywhere, guys, and you can join them as long as you're at least 18 years old. Apart from that, you should have at least some basic English skills, for example, to understand the tasks, instructions, the questions, and also to answer or to communicate your thoughts as a tester. And lastly, guys, your realistic earning potential. Now, I wouldn't recommend you to treat this like a real business with a full-time income, the amount of money you make as a survey taker or remote tester through apps like this depends mainly on your task's availability and unfortunately most of these apps don't provide you with as many surveys and usability tests you would need in order to make a living with this. Instead, you can expect to get a few test invitations per week maybe and a handful of surveys to complete, but not more than that. They even emphasize this in their FAQ. Apps like this one have been designed for people who want to earn a supplemental income. Plus, they cannot guarantee you any quantities of gigs per day or week because the gig availability depends on so many factors and variables, including your demographic profile or the customer demand, just to name a few. You may increase your chances of getting invited more often though by simply providing as much information in your user profile as possible. Plus, the more actively you contribute as a survey taker or usability tester, the more likely you are to be selected for gigs, right? Still though, as previously mentioned, taking paid surveys and testing products for brands may be a way to earn some decent money on the site per month, but I personally wouldn't recommend treating this like a source of full-time income, guys. It is a nice site hustle, but definitely not more than that, even if you sign up on multiple of these apps. Well, and that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.